Alright, g'day guys, welcome back to another Realmworks video. Tonight we're going to be looking at another data entry topic. Uh, and basically, part of doing your data entry uh, quite often is how to get pictures from PDFs into Realmworks. Uh, obviously, we've got the, um, the, the content market coming, and pretty soon in the future we'll just be able to download pictures and download content. Uh, but for most of us, we've got pretty used to the idea of putting pictures um, from PDFs into Realmworks. It's just part of what we have to do. All right, um, now for anyone who's done that before, you'll probably be aware that sometimes the pictures come across fine, other times the transparency drops off. Uh, and in the cases where the transparency drops off, that can quite often look a little bit less professional in Realmworks. So we're just going to basically jump over now and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so tonight we're basically working again with the Arcanus, the World of the Shattered Empires, uh, Forged in Magic Reforged. This is a fifth edition um, magic item book that came through Kickstarter. All right, it's got some really lovely items in it. I, I really recommend people check it out if they're looking for some uh, interesting magic items. Um, but basically, I've been trying to enter this into Realmworks. All right, there's a lot of items um, to do, and it's going to take me a bit of time. But basically, some of these items have these lovely pictures that I'd really like to maintain in the realm. All right, so if we click on that, I'm in, uh, obviously, uh, Adobe Reader. I can basically copy the image. And generally, that would be fine. I can then go into Realmworks. Uh, I'm actually on the item, and if we go below, we can put a picture in, and if I do a paste from clipboard, you can see that that's all black. All right, now if we look at the, the, the variation of those two, you can see that one is obviously quite attractive with the, the transparent border, one not so much. It really stands out with the black, and I, I don't like it. It doesn't look anywhere near as professional, especially when you compare the fact, you know, on the page, they really went into a lot of effort to make it look really nice on the page. I think we should obviously maintain that same sort of um, idea in Realmworks and try to make it as uh, look as good as possible. Okay, so basically I want to get rid of the transparency. Now, there's a tool that you can use to do this. That tool is GIMP. All right, now if you haven't heard of GIMP, it's basically the uh, open source solution for photo editing. Uh, it is free and you can just do a Google for GIMP, it's G-I-M-P, all right, so G-I-M for Mary, P for Peter, um, and that's basically uh, going to let you do what we need to do. So, how do we do it? We Once again, we come in and we copy our picture, just like we did before. We come into GIMP and we go edit, paste as new image, and you can see that came across with all of the, um, the black background. And up here you've got some selection tools, and the one we're looking for is this one here with the, the hand pointing towards the colour. And this is the Select by Colour tool. We click that, and we just click anywhere in the black section. Alright, what it's done is it's put a dotted line around everything, and basically what it's saying is it's looking just at the black. Alright, which is really cool. That's what exactly what we want. Alright. But we can see here, if we look over on the right hand side, that it's actually picked up some black elsewhere in the picture. And I want to kind of make sure that that's not the case. So we'll do that again. What we're going to do is I'm going to use the uh, the circle tool, uh, if I can remember where I put it. I think I need the selection tool. Oh, there it is, that circle tool there up the top, sorry. Now, there's two buttons you can press here. I'm holding shift. All right, and when I hold shift and I make the circle, you can see any of the, the rogue selections, and by that I mean these little white bits that are all shiny in the middle. I hold shift and I go over them, and that removes them. And what I'm basically doing is I'm, I'm identifying all of the black pixels uh, inside of the image that this is picked up on. All right, so because they're the same color as the background, it's going, oh, hey, let's, let's select those. Um, and that's not really what I want. Actually, I'm doing this the wrong way. I'm meant to be using control, sorry. So there is a lesson there. Control is uh, remove. Sh uh, shift is add. And we don't want to add. All right, so I've just got to make sure I get this as right as possible. Might change over to the square for a bit. Can get more in. All right, now if you don't do this, it can look pretty nasty. All right, because obviously if you don't do this, 
what happens is all this, the, the little bits that are sort of highlighted become transparent at the end of this process. And that's really not going to look good at your end solution. So you just take your time, get as much as you, as you can. All right, and as you can see, it doesn't really take long. You just you just got to make sure that you do it. Middle mouse button moves the uh, the image up and down, left and right. Sort of get in there a bit further, I reckon. Doesn't have to be spot on. It's just get it as close as possible. Control Z undo if you do anything wrong. And there we go. I'm a lot happier with that. There's still a few little spots around the edge, but you probably won't see that anywhere near as much. All right. So we've selected with the color. We've used the circles with shift and control to get rid of anything that may be rogue. Um, oh, there's another one that I want to get rid of. All right. Now we're basically going to come up here uh, and we're going to go layer transparency. All right. And we're going to add alpha channel. All right, then we're going to edit clear. All right, you can see that's removed all of the black. All right, looks a lot better. Now we click save. And what we do is we go export as. And basically we put it, where are we going to put it? Oh, I'm going to put it in pictures. I'll put it in temp. Um, I'm going to just going to go temp extract. going as a PNG that's fine all right now we've saved it now we can basically come up here and replace our picture so we'll get rid of this one we'll clear it and we'll come back in and this time we'll go open we won't go from paste uh, we'll go into pictures and it's in my temp folder there we go look at that so the transparency is now basically back. Um, the picture looks a lot more professional in the actual RealmWorks list. Um, and that just adds a bit of an edge to your, your RealmWorks pictures, I, I believe. So, all right, GIMP is a free tool, guys. Um, check it out. It, it does have a learning curve. All right, that's why I've made this video, to make it as easy as possible for you guys to figure out how to do this. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a really powerful tool if you can learn how to use it. Um, and as you can see, there's a benefit um, to all RealMworks users by uh, by utilizing it where, where necessary. Now, keep in mind that not all pictures you'll need to do this for. Some of them you can just cut and paste in and the transparency works fine. And you know what? That would be absolutely lovely. All right. So massive thanks over to uh, Paradigm Studios um, for basically uh, letting us play around with their uh, PDF. Um, and as I said, guys, do check it out. It's an absolutely lovely book. Um, completely full to the brim of fifth edition items and it's, it's really quite lovely. There's more items in here that I'm very ever going to be comfortable giving to my players, but uh, you know, that's, that's what it is. Um, if you've got any questions, if there's any videos you would like to see, uh, please do uh, ask them in the comments below. Uh, and if you are finding these videos useful, please do uh, subscribe. All right. That way you'll know when my new videos are coming out. Um, apart from that, guys, have a great night. Enjoy your gaming and I will speak to you on the forums.